Like they were carrying him. Why would you taser somebody that's being carried? Yeah, what? Oh, Danny, you have yeah. yourself. Danny, 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 Danny. You realize you assaulted that man. Right? Danny, you have. Danny, you fucked yourself. Get in, we'll now it sounds like he's lying. I'm getting, now I'm getting distinct impressions about that he is absolutely lying. I didn't know what they were going to do to him. And so you tasered him to protect him? Not, not I mean, that sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah? I don't know if I tried to tase him to protect him, but maybe just to like, so he wouldn't struggle and get hurt, maybe. <laughs> they're gonna beat him up or injure him. In all of my benevolence, I decided I was going to taser this man who was struggling for his life in that moment and thinking he's going to die. Four daughters. Why was I trying to kill him? I didn't want him to die. Then tell us what happened. Don't leave the story be this crappy story that you're telling us right now that you were just there to help him and taser him. No, oh, I wasn't. I was. Dude. I'm not smart. I'm not smart. <laughs> Asian Andy. Wait, is there a chance? Is this the Asian Andy? There's no way, right? So Andy was a friend of some woman that went to the rallies. No. Marcy was like an older lady. And she also was a Trump supporter. And I don't remember anything really about Marcy. She was just... Um, She's like, like a Hispanic lady, older. We picked him up in Scottsdale. They're just regular people. They're not extremists or they didn't make it, like, they weren't trying to do anything crazy. They didn't do anything when we went. Um, what about Ed? You mentioned Ed. Ezra and, Edward and I are not talking anymore. Why not? We had a falling out. I ended up, uh, talking to his ex-girlfriend uh -oh. after the trip, so me and him are not friends anymore. It's always a f***ing girl. Fresh corn. Is she going to be in trouble? Danny, you need to concern yourself with yourself right now. Because my concern is, you, as much as you're holding back from us right now, because you know we know all the names. You know we've looked at your phone records, your bank records, we, and we've done it with everybody else. So why hold back? You're making it really hard for us to help you. What, 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 what am I holding back? That's... Uh, you, I told you about the let's, let's go back to the Patriots MAGA 45 group. Is that what it was called? Patriots MAGA 45? On the Telegram? Yep, let's there talk was, about there Telegram. Was, there, was a couple, there was a couple of groups on the Telegram, and I don't remember the names. Okay, how does it start? One of them Edward started, and that was... Um, what was that one called? I don't know, I, I changed the name of that one. I think it was called Mega Gang. You're an administrator for that one? Yes. What was uh, the purpose of that group? I think just to stay in communication in case civil war or something. I don't know. I didn't start it. I was just, it's just, it was just people from our, that we would meet and you know, try to, try to make a circle of friends, like-minded individuals, you know? People that you can trust, I guess, like like the Kaunan, or if you ever needed help, or talk about politics, or- Notice how they, <clears throat> notice how this guy's still like in friendly, chatty, talkative mode, wants to offer up information, but the officers have switched to full on, like, we're applying a ton of pressure now to try to get you to, uh, you know, admit stuff that you don't want to mode. It's interesting, the dichotomy. Get some stuff <clears throat> off your chest. As far as I know, I mean, that's what Telegram is. It's just, it's just a bunch of people that try to find... Because if you go to Facebook, it's... it's <coughs> I mean, Telegram's more of a safe place. Why? Right? It's more private. It's not... Um, you can share. The pressure is going over his head. Well, it, and again, I'm reading into this a bit now, and I don't have all the facts. And there are other things, right? Be careful. I, I, don't ha I can't have the confidence of, like, JCS giving you analysis because I don't know how this one ends, right? So I, I'm being cautious when I say this. Um, it could be that it's quote unquote going over his head because if you ever try to apply a lot of pressure to somebody and it's just not connecting at all, oftentimes what that could mean is that's because there's nothing to connect with. There is no pressure to apply because they're innocent. There's just, um, they'll get like uncomfortable depending on the types of accusations you make or whatever. But when, when somebody is intentionally concealing a piece of information from you and you start applying pressure to them, 
then they're going to try really hard to talk around that, offer up a lot, to do anything they can to kind of avoid giving that piece. But if somebody feels like they've genuinely communicated everything that they need to to you, and there's nothing else to say, then all of the pressure trying to apply is kind of for naught because they're not going to they're not going to feel it. They don't feel like they're hiding anything or doing anything wrong. Videos and things on there, and if you put it on Facebook, it won't go through or it won't share sure. or it'll get taken off or something. It's censored, mm -hmm. so it's it's like it's less censored. So who was in this uh, mega gang group? There was a lot. There, at, at one point, there was like 30 or more than okay. 30, and right now there's probably in the 20s. People will come and go, or and I don't know all of them. I really don't. I don't know a lot of those people, and some of them maybe I do know or see <coughs> their face, or I don't know their name, or maybe I only know their name or not. The, well, like, who I do you know that's in that group? Who do you know? Edward. What's his last name? Fidelian. And who else? Mm, I'd have to see the group. Come on, Danny. No. Just, who's Kayla in there? They're probably Kayla. Kayla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who else? Oh, well, there's a Kayla. There's yeah. a Kayla. Are both of them in there? Kayla and Kayla? Probably. What about Andy? Yeah. Andy got added afterwards. Edward added Andy as administrator. What about uh, Mello? Mello. Mello went with this. Uh oh. Um, I don't know. A lot, I, I don't know. I don't know a lot about Mello. Um, Whose friend is he? He was, I think, this girl named. Lisa. Honest to God, at this point in the interrogation, and I don't know if the accused has picked up on this. It kind of tries to sound like they're building more on other investigations than anything around. Um, what is this guy's name? Danny. The, than this guy at this point. Like it, it feels like they, they're almost giving up. But maybe they'll re. Maybe they'll come back to it. We'll see. Again, this is still another hour or two more. Uh, Lisa, her, she went by Lisa Simpson, but she doesn't live around here anymore. So in, in the van was who again? Because we were going over a van Mar again. Okay, the, the, let me the, go over the van. The van is Marcy, Andy, Edward. Do you have last names too? Marcy, no. Edward, Bedalian. Al, I don't know his last name. Um, who else is there? Lisa Simpson? No, Lisa was in the van. Kaylin? No, she isn't. Uh, Chris Almonte, you said? Yes. Enrique? No, no, those people are in the van. Those are the people from the... the now again, the this might be some 12 head move where the FBI investigators come back like, we actually know that this person was in and this person was in and you lied about this, right? But right now, it seems like they just, they really don't know that much, right? And the... the Daniel guy is like has all the power in this interaction now, but we'll see. Who, went to Who rented the van? Is it Edward? And you said Mello was too. Mello was in the van. Mello was in the van, and Kayla, Kaylin, neither one of them were. Mm -mm. Okay. How, um, did you guys all chip in for gas? Who paid for the van and the? <clears throat> Edward paid for the van. I ended up putting in like a hundred bucks, but Edward was uh, determined to. Did Edward rent the van? Yeah. Dusty has no idea what these interrogators are doing, LeMayo, or the dynamic of the situation. A trip, a or at nip in YouTube chat. Enlighten me. Okay, fill us in. Tell me what you think I'm missing. Tell me what you think I've been wrong about. Go ahead. Okay, where did at nip go? Did he name anything? Hold on, I'm scrolling up on YouTube chat. I don't know exactly what it is that they're doing either, but I feel like you're missing the point. He isn't a genius or anything. You're acting like he is destiny. When have I acted like he's a genius? I'm not acting, I literally just gave commentary like five minutes ago saying, it's funny that the officers are applying a lot of pressure and he's still in like casual chit chat mode. I don't think he's a genius at all. I don't think I've said that. I don't even think I've remotely implied that. I don't, I don't and, and, and earlier when I commented on like whether you notice this or not, I even said multiple times, I wouldn't expect somebody to notice this particular thing in the middle of an interrogation. I even said that. I don't think I've ever given the implication that this guy is a genius, but okay. Did he rent it with someone else? Maybe with Kaylin. With who? Maybe with Kaylin. And what was the idea? Like, why, why drive a van? Why not just fly? Or that's a long way to drive. There is a an idea that if anybody needed to take anything, like weed, maybe. Knife, um, pepper spray, that stuff's 
so weird though. That's actually a huge admission. Oh my goodness. Inadvertently, in the course of the interrogation, they stumble upon this kid making a monumental fuck up. Why did you drive instead of fly? Well, maybe we were taking something that we shouldn't have. And he, he even double fucked up because he could have just said, you know, like some of us wanted to bring weed, but then he took it a step further and now he talked about bringing weapons. Oh shit, he actually so fucked up here. Oh my God, what a horror. Okay, now let's see if the rest of the interrogation is built upon this narrative. Oh my God. So people took weed. Yeah, I, I took weed, I took a knife, I took a uh, pepper spray. You took pepper spray? I mean, I didn't use it. I mean, I, I kept it in the van. It was in my bag. Mm -hmm. uh, what about a gas mask? Did you take a gas mask? Um, I was provided a gas mask. From who? Um, Edward. What other items did other people take? Um, did other people take knives, pepper spray, or gas masks? I don't know. Maybe there was... I mean, I've never seen a can of wasp spray in oh, the van. Wasp spray? Okay. Did I've anybody seen... claim that? That was theirs? They were going to take that to use it? I don't know. I told them not to use it, whoever it was. I think it was Marcy's. Okay. But I was like, that's not... That's going to blind somebody and do permanent damage. Did anybody give you guys anything to take? Like a taser? <laughs> Not me personally, no. What about the group that you know of? I don't know. I didn't take anything for anybody. All right, you know what we're driving at. Like a taser. Who, yeah, had, you know. who had the taser, Danny? We know We know the taser was, uh, there was Ooh. arrangements with the taser before you Ooh. left LA. I didn't take anybody's taser. So who took the taser? Who had it, Danny? No. There was, I saw a, a, a blue, like a light blue taser. Oh! Who yeah. transported that? I guess it was just all of us. But, um... Oh, Danny! What are you doing? Danny! <laughs> You've, you were in the clear! And you've just monumentally fucked up, Danny. Like, I didn't carry it. Who, I didn't have it. Whose taser was it? I think it was Kay Kayla's. Kayla's? Kayla. There's Kaylin and there's Kayla. Right. So Kayla, it was Kayla's taser, and she asked somebody in the group to take the taser. Yeah, she might have said it. She might have asked me. She asked you. <laughs> she, and I told her, I told her, yeah, or something, but I never got it. But you saw it. I remember seeing a light blue taser, yeah. In the van. Somewhere, yeah. It was like a baby blue one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I never used it or that's it. Do you know who had it? Mm-mm. I don't you think anybody it? had it. Well, where did you see it in the van? I don't know. Maybe someone who just, like, had it in their hand or something? Like, like, like was just, like, putting it in the... Somewhere? Mm -hmm. I remember seeing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I'm just thinking, if I'm bringing a taser, like, you would know about it, because I'd be playing with it, or I'd be, you know... You know what? There was another taser. There was two tasers. <laughs> what? Uh, How do we we had, we went from nothing to two tasers? You know, actually, now that I think about it, there was a second taser. Um, now, I just happen to remember the serial number was TZ. Uh, I think it was one one zero zero one X. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> like Jesus, Danny. Um, Andy bought a taser, <clears throat> but we never used it. I think it got returned. Uh huh. I think he bought <laughs> yeah. It. Now that I think about it. <laughs> I think we all had tasers because we had just come back from the how to tase a capital officer class 101. And uh, after we hopped in the van, uh, it, Jesus. And Edward was like, yeah, like, I think he said, I think we got a call or, or a message or something. He's like, hey, I'm buying stuff. I'm at the, I'm at the store. Um, there's a taser here. Should I get it or something like that? And I don't remember, but I think Edward was like, oh, yeah, like, it was a flashlight. And then he's like, if you go back to my cell, I actually have the original box that we bought it in because I was I was holding on to it because Amazon has like a six month return policy. So I want but um, the receipts also in, in my name. Yeah. But um, yeah, you can go check. Me. Yeah. Jesus, Danny, what are you doing? The combination. And that was what somebody was playing with. You're right. Somebody was like, you know, like if you have a taser, you're, you're yeah. Good. So we have cops here who like play with tasers. So I know you guys were 
Um, it was that flashlight one, but nobody used that on anybody and that got returned to the store, I believe. Okay. But that baby blue one was, 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 was Kayla's, but she never got it. Why did she ask you to take the taser? We've had issues. We've had problems with, with BLM and Antifa, I'm telling you. I've, sure. been, I've been pepper sprayed. Um, that guy, Gabe, that used to be a friend of mine, mm -hmm. he was stabbed for wearing a, a mega hat. He got stabbed in his arm. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. It is crazy to me how many of these investigations are built totally on interrogation. So we are looping all the way back to the beginning part of the conversation, remember? Where the goal was to establish you brought a taser because you wanted to attack a cop. You brought it with the purpose in mind that you might have to go and tase a cop, right? Or somebody, maybe not a cop specifically, but somebody to protect yourself. And now we're circling all the way back around and we're actually starting to rebuild on that initial line of questioning that had totally died earlier. Because now we've gotten to, you've got a van, apparently a fucking van full of tasers <laughs> that you guys have been bringing. And now you are reiterating earlier those lines that you were a little bit hesitant to say before that you are scared of Antifa. Because remember earlier when he was talking about Antifa, he was saying, well, no, I always believed in God. I always trusted God to get me. Like I, I wasn't there to fight anybody. Like I never wanted to do that. But now we're at that point where it's like, well, yeah, of course we've got a fucking like a semi truck trailer full of tasers because Antifa were attacking us. Yeah, of course. Right. Now we've completely looped back around and now we're totally changing our story in terms of our feelings about that event. We're wearing a, a mega hat. He got stabbed in his arm. Um, Edward got jumped mm -hmm. on Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a knife pulled out on us here in Riverside on um, over by the Tyler Mall. We did a rally and some guy came out with a big ass knife on us and uh, told us to get out of there. We've had, uh, I had a gun pulled out on me uh, well, not pulled out, but he, he opened his trunk and he had a gun in his trunk because we were, we were in Venice Beach and mm -hmm. um, I was the last, we, we had our flags. So we've had been stabbed, I've been pepper sprayed, knives, guns. Sure. So it's just, it just comes with the territory. Like you said, you know, like cops have their, their guns and we're just out there with... So, so how many days before you guys left did Kayla come to you and say, can you take this taser for me? Before we left? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember when she got it. I don't, I still really don't know how she got it to Edward. If he met her or she met him or he, they live, Edward lives far from me. I live over here. But when did Kayla give you the taser? She didn't give it to me. I don't know. You told me earlier that she asked you to take it. She asked me to take it, but I never saw her. I didn't get it from her. You got it through Ed? No, 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 no. She, she gave it, she gave, she, she gave it to Ed. I never got it. I never. That's what, okay. So. She, Kayla gave it to She Ed. didn't give it to me, she gave it to him instead. And Ed gave it to you? No, I never got okay. it. So she asked you to do, take it, but you never took receipt of it? Yes, sir. Careful. Just if I could take it. I think she asked it. Somehow Ed, though, was your understanding. Ed ended up with the taser, and it came with you guys in the van. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. But nobody, I don't think it ever left the van. And Danny, I think, let me Danny? just kind of stop you right there. Yeah, Danny. I want you to, you're telling us that you got, Ed got a taser, he had it, you never had it, and Ed, you never used it. Ed got it, Ed got the, the, the light blue baby taser, I believe, from Kayla, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to give to her when she was in DC, when, when they saw each other again. Okay. But, but she, because she couldn't take it on the plane, I guess. I don't know if those are not allowed on the plane. Mm -hmm. So, he, she never re, she never got it or needed it, and we just brought it back in the van with us. And then there was another taser that was bought right before we left. And Edward said, I think that he was gonna he he wanted it, and then never used it either. Stayed in the van as well, and then that got returned to the store. And see, that's where I'm I'm having the hard time here is because. Kayla gave you guys a taser, mm -hmm. gave it to Ed. Mm -hmm. You had it. No, I didn't have it. No, not you, I'm sorry. Uh, it was in the van. Mm -hmm. The group had it. Mm -hmm. And then you had it, uh, the group had it when when you went back. But then in the middle on the six, mm -hmm. you got a taser from someone else, mm -hmm. some random person. A black one. Gave you a taser, mm -hmm. and that's what you used on the officer. 
You see how that's kind of weird to me? No. I mean, no. I don't. What's weird? Well, describe us more than how you ended up with this other taser from some random stranger. Because right now, it's it seems a little more logical that the taser that was used mm -hmm. by you mm -hmm. was a taser that was brought from L.A. Yeah, for sure. So explain to us. We're happy to, to listen. Um. <laughs> oh, no. I just asked. I said, we need a taser. We need, I, I yelled. I yelled in the tunnel. I'm like, we need, we need somebody with a taser up here. And Wait. Holy shit. Did he admit to that before? Did he say that before? He... <laughs> I said, we need a taser? Oh my god! He's actually... To okay, the JCS video on this is gonna be funny, okay? He's actually completely and totally fucked himself. Did he say that he was the one earlier that said, we need a taser? He said that specifically? That he said it? If he did earlier, maybe I missed those exact words, but... Someone pulled it out of their pocket and gave it to me, and it was like in a little leather... It's like a little pouch. It's like square. Almost like a, like a pack of cigarettes. Because now it feels like... Now... Uh, okay, so... He's, he's, a, he's actually completely f***ed, right? Because now we've got so much of this built, okay? You were in LA, okay? You feared for your life before, apparently, because of your um, quarreling with Antifa people. So you and your lot brought multiple, not just one, but multiple tasers with you to this January 6th protest. While you were at this protest, at a protest where you had brought multiple tasers fully with the intention of using them, if you felt the need to, because you said you'd already been threatened, in the middle of one of these protests, you shouted for the, the tasers that you knew were there. Somebody bring a taser, we need a taser. Somebody handed you one and then you applied it to the officer, you used it, just as you'd planned to as soon as you left LA. Like you've given, now they have literally all of the pieces that they need to, to build that case. Like. I didn't know how to use it or turn it on. Or like, I, I was like, what is what is this? And then like the guy takes it back from me or I get back to him and he takes it out of the case and then he flips a switch and he tests it or pushes it for me and, and then he gave it to me. Didn't you just say it was a black woman that gave it to you? No. Yeah, you did. A black woman? Yes. No, this is a taser was black. No, you said a black woman gave it to you. You interrupted him. To I, say I it was never, a black woman that I gave for, it to you. I for sure haven't said anything about a black woman. You did. There's you, the, the cameras or the recording. There's no, I never said black woman. Okay. What do you mean black woman? I never said anything about black woman. Did he? I took my headphones off for a minute. So. It, Maybe he misspoke? You're willing to accept the fact that the taser that you had he was did. from some random stranger and if any of your friends that we're interviewing today tell us something to the contrary, how will that reflect on you? Oh, they're not. It's 100% true. It's 100% true. It just, it was just, that's just... Because you remember. No, you're I'm not you're, I will not well, I'm not lying. And I think, I think you are. I'm not. And I'm not going to explain Ooh. to you why. You, you think are. I'm protecting Very me confrontational. Because I, I, you told us... At this point... Now I think they've earned the right to apply a lot of pressure because now he's walked back on a bit and he's given them a much clearer story. Like, it almost feels like they have enough now to be like, all right, throw him back in the cell. Like, this kid's fucked. Like, we have enough for the prosecution. He's going to, like, plea this out or something because he's fucked. Absolutely fucked. So now we can apply way more pressure to see if we can either incriminate somebody else or get him, I guess, on even more. But you were in the tunnel when you called for a taser mm -hmm. earlier. You told us you were in the tunnel, you were getting squished, and so you left the tunnel for about a half hour mm -hmm. and came back. You had the taser in your hand, and you walked up, and you tasered the officer once in the neck, and you did it because you felt like he was accosting Trump supporters or patriots. No, I didn't do it because they felt he was accosting Trump supporters or patriots. I just thought that he was going to get in he was struggling, like they were they were pulling him out. And he I, was struggling with who? Like they were carrying him. They were they were like holding his arms and his legs and his feet. I don't know who those people were. So why would you taser somebody that's being carried? Yeah, what? Oh, Danny, you have yes. yourself. Danny, 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 you realize you assaulted that man. Right? Danny, you have, Danny, you fucked yourself so you hard. You realize right now you're- You're on, your situation is unthinkable now. you're telling us okay. is not helping your situation. I'm 100% not fabricating anything. Okay, oh. then, then let's go back over it, mm -hmm. and you tell me again 
how you ended up in the tunnel and how you ended up with the taser I just, and I how just, you ended up tasering I just, Officer I just, Geno. I just ended up in the tunnel because that's where everybody was in the building. Okay, explain it to me again in story form. I'm all ears because I want to hear the story. I want to hear the truth, truthful story, though. So I, I called for tasers because I felt that we were going to get in. We, that's how that we were going to get in. We now it sounds like he's lying. I'm getting, now I'm getting distinct impressions about that he is absolutely lying. Why'd you call for a taser? Well, I, I thought that, um, uh, you know, I thought, you know, when the officer, um, well, he was being carried by people and so, you know, right? This is how, like, when I'm debating lefties or conservatives and I, and somebody starts reaching and they give me some weak ass evidence, I think Corn Cobb did it once. Like, oh, Gusano, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that is or I've never, or that person's, I don't know, they were modding, but they're not, right? Like, when people start reaching, it's like, okay, you're lying, motherfucker. I know you're lying now. You're squirming so fucking hard. If you know what you have to say and you're saying what you know, you don't talk like this, right? But th these kinds of conversations are the kind of conversations you have with your kid when they're six years old and they ate a cookie they're not supposed to and they're trying to convince you that a dog broke into the house and stole it, okay? These are the types of conversations you're having. Um, so now it su super sounds like he's lying and now it super sounds like there was a lot more um, ambivalence or more premeditation or uh, there was a little bit more maliciousness behind everything that happened rather than just like, oh, I just happened to be in an area and I was getting crushed and blah, 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 right? But let's see. Get tasers up to the front like we didn't have, we, I'm not calling for knives or guns or shoot them. I'm just, we're trying to get in the building to try to occupy the building. Okay. So I called, I called, I shouted. I Malice, around, not maliciousness, sorry. And I, I thought someone was going to come up with a taser, not hand me a taser. Okay. So who, how did you get the taser? It was just some guy, I swear. It was just. Describe him to me. I really don't know. We're going to pause for one moment to drop a hot take, okay? Girl shorts that like cut their booty off halfway so that you can see the under part of the booty cheek or whatever, I don't think that's attractive. I think that skirts are attractive and like thongs are attractive, but like the half booty cutoff, it looks like a bra that doesn't fit for your butt. I'm sorry. I just, that is just, I'm sorry if that bothers you or offends you but it is absolutely the, the base take, okay? If you wanna show off your booty, wear a skirt and like a thong or something, or just wear like a swimsuit or some shit like that or whatever, but like the pants that like chop off, where you have like half the booty kind of, I think it just looks stupid. It just looks so dumb. Sorry, it absolutely does. Somebody linked something dumb in my chat and I just saw it and it just, I just think it looks so dumb. There you go. Booty shorts way sluttier skirts make me feel like a pedo. What? 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 No, it, he was, I'm in the tunnel and he was behind me on the right, I mean on the left, like kind of by the entrance of the, of the tunnel. And at the time that, at the time that happened, it wasn't super packed. Hold on, someone clipped him saying black woman. I think he says a black one, yeah, and it sounds like a black woman. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, all right. In there, there was still a little space. You're officially a bona fide YouTuber. You managed to stretch a 20 minute video into two hours of content. Hey, dipshit, this isn't a 20 minute video, it's a three hour video, and we're about an hour and a half of the way through it. Two, four, six, we're an hour and 26 minutes in. So, if I've stretched an hour and 26 media, uh, hour and 26 minute video into two hours of content, we're doing okay. All right, chill, dumb fuck. Walk around right it says there. 20 minutes, yeah, their video is in a playlist. It, it, later on, it got like they got like a ton of people, but at that time there was there was enough room to like turn around and we need tasers. And we need a taser. Here. I got handed a taser. Well, what was he wearing? Describing how tall was he? How big? Who are we looking for on the video? Because you know it's all on video. If you find him on a video, then you find, I really don't know. Because you, you know what we see on video? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. We see you produce a taser with your right hand out of your pocket. Well, right. I, I mean, I had... Okay, so I and had the taser... And you're not in the tunnel. You're on the steps. This is true. Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> so he gives me the taser. Danny! But when I give it, when I turn around to give it back to him... I don't He's know gone? I also had a megaphone, and I, I looked for my... I lost my megaphone there, too. So I, I, I put the... I either dropped the megaphone... And the then, megaphone or I megaphone? Give him the taser. I turned around. There was, I don't know. Nobody was nobody was standing there waiting. Oh, for Danny, you have federally fucked yourself, Danny. 
I didn't know who to give it to. I was waiting for somebody to like, can I have my taser back? Sure. So it was a guy. That's all I know. It was a male, uh, <laughs> maybe not too old, not too young. Regular, That's, average guy. Like You've just described 50% of the United States population. Right. He's just, he was just there, whoever it was. I honestly think there was two people who were offering a taser, and one of them just took <laughs> Danny! How many tasers were at this goddamn event? I did put it in my pocket because I didn't return it to anybody. I'm like, okay, I lost my megaphone. I can't find it, but now I have a taser. Okay, so you think that Officer Fanon's being carried out, held by his arms and legs. Why did you taser him? You said he was struggling. I just kind at of that point he's struggling to be let let go. Yeah. And you chose to assault him while he's struggling. Well, I just felt that like I didn't know what they were gonna do to him. And so you tasered him to protect him. Not. not I mean that sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I tried to tase him to protect him, but maybe just to like so he wouldn't struggle and get hurt. Maybe. <laughs> like, they're gonna beat him up or injure him or like I don't know if they're gonna what I don't know what was gonna happen to him and honestly I didn't think very much about it because when I did it I was like oh my god what did I just do and I got out of there I left I did it and I left yikes and, Danny yikes not a good look for you Danny Danny you understand how serious this is right you understand that you're the one that fucked up like uh, full full disclosure all the cars out on the table uh, you're looking at seven federal federal felony counts i was just seven what is that the rest of my life in prison it's a lot of years man okay. i can't help you uh -huh. if you're not being honest with us okay what am i not being honest about guys let me play this way you know trying to fight as best i could uh i remember like guys were stripping me of my gear, these riders, uh, pulling my badge off my chest. Um, I didn't see any of they ripped my radio just, off of uh, off my vest, started pulling uh, like ammunition magazines from their holder uh, on my belt. And then some guys started getting a hold of my gun and uh, I they were screaming out, um, you know, kill him with his own gun. I didn't hear that. Um, <laughs> I didn't hear that. Danny. At that point, you know, it was just like self-preservation um you know how do i survive this situation not a good look and for I you danny about, you know using deadly force i thought about shooting people um and then i i just came to the conclusion that you know if i was to do that you know i might get a few but i'm not going to take everybody and uh they'll probably take my gun away from me and that would definitely give them the justification that they were looking for to kill me I wasn't, uh, they, I wasn't gonna kill them. I tried to kill them. I wasn't trying to kill anybody. Look, 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 the cops. The disparity is is in, in between your story and what happened to Officer Fanon and what's on video. I can show you the video of you tasering him twice. No, it's not twice. I'll, I'll show it to you. You show it to me, please. I will. But the disparity between what you're saying happened, describing, oh, I'm I'm such a benevolent man, coming up to. A poor officer who's struggling to keep him to, to survive, thinking he's going to die. Let me help him out. Let me taser him. <laughs> True. Is that really the story you want to be written about you? Is that in all of my benevolence, I decided I was going to taser this man who was struggling for his life in that moment and thinking he's going to die. Four daughters. No, I wasn't trying to kill him. I didn't want him to die. Then tell us what happened. Don't leave the story be this crappy story that you're telling us right now that you were just there to help him and taser him. No, I wasn't. I was... Danny. I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not smart. <laughs> no, I'm just not smart. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not you lying to you. You need to anything. think about... I'm not lying to you. I haven't lied about anything. I haven't lied written. about anything, you guys, so far. I have not lied to anything. I have not lied to anything. Danny, anything. just take a minute. Listen to him, okay? You are in a great position right now to help yourself. We can advocate to the prosecutor. Hey, Danny was. Danny made some mistakes. I got mine. But right now, neither Agent Armenta or myself feel confident in what you're saying. Okay. What? 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 What, what do you want me to tell you that I, I taste them? Yes. Explain. I mean, explain. Am I, am what, I a fucking piece of did? shit? Yes. Why did you taste them? I don't know. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> He's a human being with children. 
and he's, 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 he's not a bad guy, he sounds like. He's just doing his job, and, and he's, I'm an asshole. But why? Why Why would you go up there with the taser? It's why would you take that taser that was given to you from your friends and taste it? It wasn't given to me by my friends. It was given to me by a stranger. I swear to God. I swear to God. These, these, this is not the same tasers. I'm telling you. I'm not trying <laughs> to protect them. I'm not okay, trying so, to protect somebody. So, so let, me, let me pull the video, because I want you to see it, of you tasering him. You got big dreams. I need a guiding hand to help you get there. Oh, God. How dystopian. Get a YouTube Red account if you're going to be interrogating somebody on federal offenses, please. Officer Fanon was among a phalanx of police at a west entrance here. At DC police almost never let us talk to line officers, but they wanted us to hear from this hero of democracy. This is the hallway where Officer Fanon and his comrades refused to hear. Were you in this hallway? I mean, I was not. No. I said, well, we're going to go. You know, suit up. Fanon has been working plain clothes for a decade. He could have spent the riot waiting at his... Can it help him to be honest? Do, inter um, <clears throat> do interrogators really talk to prosecutors? It can help you to... <sighs> There's an analogy, but I'm too lazy to explain this. It can help you to be honest in the same class of charges... But if you, as you admit more and more, you're upgrading your class of charges, so it's not really, really going to help you at all because now you're like, it might like, it might have been before that they were going to be really, really, really mean to you, and not make any recommendations with almost no charges, or they could be quite a bit nicer to you while you're looking at like, you know, manslaughter two or something, right? So, and I don't think anybody died here, but I'm just saying that like, can it help you? I mean, like in some cases, but like it's helping you after it's already hurt you so much more. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why this guy wouldn't have talked to a lawyer first before, especially, and again, because it seems like he knows what's up, but he just fucked himself so hard. One of the first police commanders he encountered was the head of investigations. And I remember thinking remember to myself, fire alarm like, going off in that hallway? this dude looks like George and Pat. I wasn't in there for that. Officer I think I got out before that. that yeah, I, don't, I didn't see that. Between the door and the mob screaming, he oh. Fanon says it was like medieval combat. And it was like the real life 300 minus the six pack abs, which none of us have. Somehow, <laughs> oh, the mob grabbed Fanon out of the lawn and dragged him into the mob, beating, tasing, smashing him with flagpoles. I remember thinking like at the moment that I got outside, like, hold, like, there's a lot of damn people here. Did you think you were going to die out there? Guys were, like, grabbing gear off my vest. And I remember guys chanting, like, kill him with his own gun. Um, I thought about killing people. I'll probably shoot a couple, and then they're going to take the gun away. I don't from think they were chanting kill him with his own gun. Maybe one person said that. They weren't chanting but no that. But thought of his four daughters. I have kids, he told the rioters, and a couple of them showed mercy. Uh, thank you, but thank you for being there. <laughs> what do you mean they helped him? They just said fuck you? <laughs> this is the video right here. <laughs> what did he say? Wait, they helped him and he's saying fuck you? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit! See, they even... Uh, have you seen this? It was only one time. There's no. There's no way it's twice. Um, it's it's edited if it's twice. You strike him on the right side, on his left side, and he recoils and grabs, and you come back in and you do it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thousand percent. It's right Watch there. the video. There's no way they can prove two times. They can't prove it unless Danny fucks up and he says, yeah, I did. Maybe I did. He's, if they can get Danny to move, their goal is to get him to move from a, did I do this? Absolutely. To the very least, okay, maybe I did. If they do that, then it's mission success. Is 
that you? Why is twice is important? Because one time, there's a lot of stuff that you can argue about in terms of like, okay, well, I was nervous, I did it one time, I was scared, I didn't know what was going on, blah, blah, kind of like that. Um, but if you did it twice, we're getting a much stronger intentionality there. Did you really fuck up and do it twice on accident? It, it just, it looks, two times makes it look way more intentional on the first tase, right? This is part, if we go back to the Rittenhouse thing, right? This is why, um, as, as silly as it might have sounded to us, this is why Binger was so keen on trying to say, you, he fell to the ground and you shot him three more times. You shot Rosenbaum three more times, right? Because like one time you can argue like, okay, yeah, I was scared, assaulted, assaulted, but you shot him four fucking times? Are you fucking kidding me, right? Now, obviously in court, they're arguing, well, it was four times in less than one second, but that repeated instance goes a long way, you know? If you walk into a house and there's a husband on the ground bleeding out and you know he's got one or maybe two stab wounds on him you know uh, a wife could be like yo it was self-defense i thought he was gonna kill me but if you walk into a house and a husband's got like 36 stab wounds in him it's like okay i was really mad <laughs> it now looks a lot different you know did somebody somebody stick a taser in your hand you know what I'm saying? They set us up as far as like they went over there to film everybody that they recognized like to to do this on purpose afterwards no, they didn't stick a taser in there. I did. You taste the officer. Nobody put... Trump didn't put you up to tasing no, the officer. No, he did. I did. You did it all on the yes. Isn't it true, Danny, that you and your friends planned weeks in advance to go to that rally with weapons and gear? Uh, so Okay, so what I was saying before, now he's laying out the whole story that I said they've been trying to build. Your friends, you went with these weapons, you were scared of Antifa, knew, you knew that it was gonna be something bloody, you knew you needed weapons to be ready for it, now he's laying everything out that they've been building towards. Practiced how you were going to do things. I didn't have any gear. I didn't take any weapons. You took a knife I always and pepper knife. spray, That's and you were given a gas mask. That's always in my car. I, I mean, okay, I've been... You took those things. I have it. Everybody has a, a, I mean, it was a little four inch pocket knife, okay? My, my pepper spray is, but, but, uh, oh, is uh, just, uh, but I, 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 well, I, something I, that you have. Yeah, everybody's I'm got. Gas mask. I didn't you buy just, the gas mask. You just carry that with you? The gas masks were taken, and I didn't, I was, there was like some, like four gas masks. Like, come on, like, I was just haven't you ever played them. Metro? Like, it's a fun game. Like, sometimes you like to, you know, role play. Jeez, right? Everybody has. You don't have a gas mask in your car? You should. Okay, it's coronavirus season. Be responsible. <laughs> Shame on you. Like, here you can have a gas mask, but I didn't take it and I didn't wear it. I didn't have it. But you, you, see, you see more of it. Like, that shows preparation, right? That shows, I didn't prepare for that. That shows planning. I didn't yeah, plan preparation, planning, I didn't intent. You win. Like, I didn't I, wear it. I didn't take it. I left it there. I didn't put it on. I don't have it. I, it doesn't matter, Danny. It shows planning and preparation. That's you right. You take those things. You don't take things. You don't take things for no reason. Nobody takes things for no reason. And, and when we tell DC what we said and what we discussed, and they ask us, was Danny cooperative? None did he tell you that? Not. Earth? They're going to ask me, well, what did he say about the weapons. What did he say about the gas mask? No, no, what did he on. say? What did he say about the 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 mace and, and no, no, the no, pepper spray? None of that stuff was on me when I was at the Capitol. What do I tell them? I'm asking you. My my colleague was asking you I what know. the preparation was to go there. What you guys were planning? You brought stuff, planning for something. What was it? I mean, we were you planning. said Andy called Ed and said, "Hey." There's a taser here. Should I buy it? Ed said, yes. You already told us that. Why is Andy calling Ed saying, should I buy a taser? If you And you guys took the taser to D.C. if you're not preparing. That's, that's not me. That's not okay, me. Okay, well, tell us about it, though. Tell us about the preparations the group did. The preparations were for BLM and Antifa. We thought that they were going to go to... We thought we were going to hit it like a civil war. There was going to be a big battle. This is what I thought. Okay. I thought there was going to be a big battle in these. I thought that there was going to be battles across the country. I thought that there was going to be fighting for some reason in different cities. And I thought that the, the, the main fight, the main battle was going to be in D.C. because Trump called everyone there. And then I thought that that was going to bring BLM and Antifa there. And it was going to be like a big battle. That's what I really thought. 
They do, didn't, they didn't, that's not what happened. So how did you prepare for battle? Uh-oh. Tell us about paintball. Just like jogging. <laughs> Tell us about paintball. <laughs> oh, paintball? Yeah, I mean, I don't even own a gun. Paintball was just like to get people to try and get people to work together and, and follow directions and orders. But paintball was just like, it just wasn't, it, Who was, went to it was just fun. Who went to paintball? Who was there? Ed? Edward. Oh! Okay. Oh my god, we've got like to conspiracy now. Holy shit! What are you doing, Danny? <laughs> um, oh, we've invited everybody. We try to get a lot of people to go. We try to always. I mean, Edward even makes the flyers to go, like, get people going and act. Like, we're trying to get, like, build, like, a camaraderie, like a team, like a. Um, people who we're just trying to get friends we're just trying to make friends and get like-minded individuals together do you practice formations <laughs> no like like Is like stack, like stacking up and entering a building or something or just working together how to work together i think i think we were i think that's i think that was maybe like what we thought was going to happen but no you when you go to paintball it's just have you guys it ever been paintballing? It just becomes more of a free-for-all. Yeah, there's just, you can't take orders, you don't know the map, and it's just, there's strangers, and there's- Was there someone trying to organize it to make it more, you know, tactics-based, like a learning- I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess that's what the, what, what Edward wanted. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's not, he's not a military person, or, you know, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I tried listening to him, and like he'd be like, "Okay, I'll cover you, go." And I remember one time, I just he's like, he's like, "Go!" And then as soon as I put my head up, I got shot in my face. So like, calls okay. left lane, he runs right lane. Like dub, 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 dub. Person, a I think, military I think leader. He might. I think he might. Bad shot caller. Um. I learned. I I never had been paintballing before, and I learned that it's. If that was real bullets, there's no chance. You, you pick your head up and you get shot with a paintball. Like bullets, is, this is not, it's not, not fun. That's not gonna be. That's not gonna end well. You know, running for cover and that's not fun. That's not gonna be cool. Did you guys ever go shooting? Mm hmm I, I went shooting once. We with, went. With oh my god, dude. Um, Edward and and his girlfriend Sam. Some girl Sam. He was seen. Mm hmm and uh, what'd you guys shoot? Uh, yeah, 45. Edward did? Yeah. And that was it? <clears throat> did you take your yeah. mom's gun? No, my mom don't have a gun. Who's, who's 45 is at the house? There's no 45 at my house. Yeah, there was. It was there, we saw it. Huh? Yeah. Where? There's a, there's a 45 in there. No, you guys are wired. No, in the bedroom. Who's better, my mom's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was there, SWAT found it right away. My mom has a 45? She said there's no guns in the house. Oh, then there's no gun in the house. No, we're not lying to you. There is a gun in the house. I don't own a gun. I don't have a gun. Did you it's buy a gun at Ammo Brothers? I tried. I tried to buy a Glock. Why? Um, Because I had money at the time. Like, I've always wanted a gun. Look at how uncredible he is, right? Remember in the be remember what he said about money in the beginning of this? Ah, f if they're lying about it, this is such a good lie. Oh, this is such a good lie. If, if the investigators are lying, if they didn't even find a 45, right? Does anyone, what did he say at the beginning of this? Do you guys remember? In the beginning of this, I don't have money. I just, um, you know, I'm just trying to afford gas. I don't have any money for any of that. I'm just trying to afford gas. I can't do anything. And now it's like, I had enough money for a Glock? What is a Glock? 400, 500, 600 dollars, I think. I paid for my G17 or whatever, right? How much? The, the, Glock's not a $30 handgun, right? Maybe you can buy them used for less than that, but like. And I needed the money, so I got my money back. I mean, I've always wanted a gun, but I didn't, I didn't, um, I never purchased one. I, I, I put money down. I went through the background check. And before the background check came, um, I needed the money, and I went back to Ammo Brothers. They kept a hundred dollars. They kept I forget what the percentage it was of the gun. Mm -hmm. It was the the Glock, but I think it was like six hundred dollars. 
with some change, like 620 or something, for a nine. It was like a Glock 19, a Glock 17. And then I um, went back and I needed my money back and they kept some of it and I, I had to pay bills or something. Mm. Or I think that's what I went to DC with. Like, I don't know. Glock don't know. 17 and Glock 19, those are both nine millimeter firearms also. They don't match the 45 description in the mother's bedroom. So the cops are either lying, the mom's lying, or or Danny's lying and we're gonna find out how, oh boy. But I do not own a gun. I did, I, yes, I tried to buy a gun. Tried to buy a gun twice. I bought a, I went to, um, Turner's? I went to Turner's and I tried to buy a Walther, a 22, a little, a Did they say the Glock is nine millimeter? No, they don't, no, I just know. A Glock 17 and a Glock 19 are both nine millimeter handguns. And um, the DOJ didn't, deny or confirm me. So they gave me my money back. They're like, they gave me all my money back. They said, you gotta go contact the DOJ. I never did. And uh, I went to go, I was like, okay, I'll try it again. Wait, and what? Or I, so what I was gonna do is I was like, cause the DOJ didn't confirm or deny me. I needed to get a hold of them. He got denied a purchase? Are 4473s what you fill out for? Um... Is that the name of the background check or is that just the transaction record? What do you call the, um, oh God, ATF form firearm. How do you, if he got denied a purchase for a handgun, what would he need, like a prior felony or something? Um, I'm, but he didn't get denied. He said they didn't deny or approve it. Is that even possible? I don't, I don't know what that means. I've just, I've never heard that before. But I mean, I don't know a ton about like the different types of ways you're, you can get denied or whatever. Sometimes the instant, sometimes the instant checks come back wrong. Okay. I did it. I think some time went by. Was like, okay, let me go try to guide it by a different gun. Maybe I was, I, maybe it wasn't a good idea to get the 22. 4473 is used for federal purchases. A handgun background check is different state to state. I thought every purchase of a firearm has to be a, um, has to be um, done uh, you have to fill out a 4473 from a seller to a buyer, not from like a private seller to a private seller, but from like an actual retailer to a to a buyer. I thought that you always have to fill out one of those 4473s. You get a nine, and then I uh, be f I knew that the OJ was either gonna come, not. I think I thought it was gonna be the same thing. I'm like, I can't wait that 30 days or whatever. I just, you know, I'm, I, need a, I need the money for, for bills or something. So I took the money back and I never got a gun. Mm -hmm. And as far as my mom goes, she doesn't own a gun either. Okay. What else, who, who else in the group bought supplies other than Andy and Ed? Supplies? Like food or so let's go no like, weapons? So there was no other weapons. So, Anybody buy pepper spray, wasp spray, gas masks, knives? Oh, do you learn so much about guns? I like guns. I have a couple. I just haven't been able to do anything in California. There's not much to learn, though. I mean, it's, especially in America, anybody can go fucking buy one. Tasers. In a lot of states, I think you can get a rifle at 16. Because most of the, um, most of the restrictions usually come around um, handguns. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can. A knife. I didn't buy a knife. Okay, who, who else bought stuff, though? I don't. I, I think mean, you're in the van driving for 3,800 miles. I think everybody pitched in. Everybody pitched in for gas and for food and. Um... Why do you like guns? What is there to like genuinely? <clears throat> I mean, shooting is like a unique experience. You don't really get to do anything like that otherwise in your normal life, right? Where you get to pick up like a weapon and like pull a trigger and like bullets come out and they go at range. It's like a cool experience. It's like, I don't know, firing a firearm, it's like, it's like the first time you drive a car. Like you're in a huge thing, you're moving around. I don't know, it's a fun thing to do. As far as the wasp spray goes, I think Marcy brought that okay. from home. And the taser, Andy bought. I remember him calling me the day before or something, the night before, like we we're getting stuff to go. And he called me. Yeah, so someone in chat says, everyone pitching in sounds like everyone planning ahead and that this wasn't a spur of the moment thing. She doesn't. Yeah, so what it sounds like we've essentially built now 
is this idea that these guys have almost literally established themselves or Danny, Danny has established themselves in this conversation as like a fucking militia, right? Some people are buying weapons. Some people are buying supplies like food and stuff. We're all traveling together in a big group. We're all like ready for combat. We don't know what's going to happen. We've been attacked before. We started to do like these training exercises. We were like paintballing and shit. I tried to go and buy a fucking gun. Like we've laid out so much here for the prosecution, you know? Uh, it's insane how much he's given here. I think he asked me if I wanted it or something, and then I said, no, I don't want it, or I don't have money or something. I don't remember. I just said no, and then I think Edward wanted it. I don't know if he was with me or... I don't know. Yeah, Somehow. like we drove because we couldn't take a plane because we knew they wouldn't allow our weapons on the plane. Like, Jesus. Oh. He said that he did, and then Andy bought it. I think it was fifty dollars. It was a flashlight, taser, and then we were playing with it in the van, and and then it stayed in the van. But as far as weapons, like. Um Okay, I'm also, I'm not a lawyer. So another reason why it might have been valuable to talk to a lawyer here is like, bro, you've incriminated yourself so fucking hard here. I don't know, and I truly don't know this because I haven't studied like depositions as much. I don't know how much he would have been required. I don't think you're, wait, hold on, wait. I don't think you're ever required to testify against yourself, right? If, if, you, if you're doing a criminal case and you are the defendant, are you required to give testimony in a deposition? You're not, right? You don't, you don't ever have to do that. Um, if there were unique pieces of information that Danny had here, th this, okay, here is the big, big, big meme from a total, I, I, you know, I'm not a lawyer person, okay? The big meme is that maybe Danny did fuck up and he knows he fucked up and maybe, maybe he fucked up and other people have known some of his fuck ups but it might be the case that with a lawyer, Danny could have said, like, here's the case. Maybe they have him, let's say they have him in the van, and let's say that they knew about like some training stuff, but they don't know if there are any tasers on the van, and they don't, and they've only got him really tasing him one time, right? The, the officer, you know? The DA, the prosecution might look at that case and be like, I don't know how much we can charge here. Um, because you know we don't have this crazy intent. We don't, you know, we don't have a lot. And the defense will know that. And and, a, and an attorney, a defense attorney, might say, "Hey, listen, okay, we know that you can't charge for shit here. What if we cooperate with you? Danny will testify, and he's going to give you this much more information on these other people. Maybe we can give you a van full of fucking tasers. Apparently, right? We can give you this, but." We're gonna want some level of protection or immunity. We're gonna to wanna to make a plea deal about this or this or this. This is like where the, the, the lawyer games come in handy so much. A lawyer isn't there just so that you can like, you know, oh, I plead not guilty to everything or like a lawyer's gonna protect you and say, I'm not gonna answer the question. Lawyer might be there to say like, hey, listen, they can't charge a big case. If you cooperate with them here, we can get you some level of immunity from these charges. We can plead this down to this and then you'll actually be good. You're in a much better bargaining position. Um, he just, he fucked himself so, 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 so hard here. Why, why did it stay in the van if, if you guys well, bought it? Why? Okay, well, first first of all, we, we were going to go see Trump speak. We're not taking weapons. We're not taking... We, 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 went, we went on, I think it was a Saturday. He was, he was going to speak in D.C. He'd do his speech, and we, we woke up and, and went. It was early. I think. Wait, you guys were all... Hold on, all Mad speak. Tips. I don't think that's true. Federal DAAs are going on every little thing for all things riot-related right now. Participating in a riot is such an easy felony to go on. Yeah, but, but, but Mad Tips, there's a big difference between charging crimes and proving them. Because the DA will go through, and they'll, they'll start charging people like crazy, but when they go through evidence, a lot of those cases are going to get tossed before anybody's talking to a lawyer, before anything is serious, right? Like... You, 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 it, it is as politically popular as it is to throw the book at somebody for a riot. If they don't have good video ev evidence of you and you claim, you know, like, hey, I want a fucking lawyer, they're not going to charge you for shit. I don't believe that. No fucking way. Are you going to get me on some grainy fucking footage in the background and throw a felony fucking rioting charge or some shit at me? Absolutely not. No fucking way. I think of all the rioters or whatever on January 6th, they charged, was it like 400, 300? people and like and i think they've tossed like a few dozen of those charges i i would i would have to go back and check but like they're, they're, it's only going to be like the big people that they've got doing a lot of crazy shit on tape or whatever it's not just going to be somebody that was there and maybe was in the building it wasn't supposed to be i'm like trespassing or some shit you know I, well no actually i'm trespassing they might be able to get you but destiny i've got 12 federal case i'm working with the fbi with here in portland the arrest made at the location is all we need the proof is that i arrested them during the riot
Yeah, but like, how do you prove that that guy is there rioting and not just there protesting or not just there chilling, right? Like, I imagine you could probably charge somebody. I don't know if there's like a rioting charge. You could probably charge somebody like breaking a curfew or something, right? But like to go, to go one step further, to charge them with like a violent crime or some shit, there's no way that just you making the arrest is enough. Destiny, attorney general here, that guy's telling the truth. No, we do about two hours with a riot declarations prior to making arrests. Oh, may... Ah, f okay, I would need more information then. I guess maybe. What? Are, so what, are you like announcing to a group of people like, hey, you guys are rioters, we're gonna arrest you in two hours for rioting if you don't leave, like something like that, maybe? So expecting a civil war too. You weren't just there to see him speak. You were, you said a civil war across the, night, the country. The night, the night before we got there, um, we went out in the streets to, because of the civil war. We thought, we were like, okay, let's go see what's going on out here. Let's go see if we could find like BLM, if there's rioting. Like, Holy shit. So, you were what, like prowling the streets, hunting for fucking BLM activists? What the f Nothing was going on. There was no BLM, there's no Antifa, there was there was really nothing going on. The, the whole city was, there's cops everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think that was the first night, which was a Friday, maybe? What, what day was the speech? And then you, you had your taser then? No. No, I didn't have a taser. So where was it? No, I, I got a taser that day from the tunnel. No, I'm saying the Notice how they're, they're trying to get him to slip up here by saying like, oh, so you had your taser, right, when you guys left the hotel or whatever? Right guys bought the one you guys bought before the flashlight one mm -hmm. where was it yeah it was in the box that came in so my question is why was it in the box if you guys bought a taser preparing for a civil war well he didn't he didn't buy it for me he bought it for edward and maybe edward either it was i don't know did edward take it with him no i think i think he didn't like it or he bought it without he bought it Andy was at the store and said, "I had there's a, there's one of these things here for sale. Should I get it?" And then Edward has money. He has extra money. You know, it's like, "Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, sure." Mm -hmm. You know. And then what about like, did you use your card ever when you were in DC? Your debit card. I don't remember. Mm, would you be surprised to find out you didn't? I probably didn't. So what was what was the cash withdrawal for? before you go to DC? Gas, probably. So you you withdrew $760 in cash for gas? I never had $760 on my account. You withdrew it in cash from your, from your, from ATM. You got cash. This was on uh, the 4th, right before you guys started going. Oof, makes it looks like he wants to travel without being tracked anywhere, right? He's got a, 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 a I, now, I don't know if this is like propensity or if you're allowed to admit this towards like a crime or whatever, but I, I'm not a, yeah, I guess you would. Cause, well, would you? Cause it's directly relevant to you traveling someplace and not wanting anybody to know or be tracked or whatever. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but like you have like a pattern of using your debit card daily, weekly to buy gas or whatever. And then one time you withdraw $800 in cash and then you don't use your debit card a single time during your entire travels makes it seem like you're trying to hide shit, right? I think you're confusing me with Edward. No, I'm not. I didn't have seven hundred dollars. You 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 took out seven. The day the day no no for sure you guys you're confusing me with Edward I think because the day the day that I the day before we left I had twenty six dollars to my name. Mm -hmm. No. And you got a big cash influx like you said with no the, with I, the... I had a hundred dollars I I I worked I I did like a little side job uh -huh. and I got a hundred dollars so I went so with the hundred. So you don't know what that was for. No, I did. No, it wasn't me. I don't never have seven hundred dollars cash one in that time. Okay, I'm telling you, you did. Okay. All right. Oh, wait a minute. When we were there, when when we were when we were there in D.C., I got the stimulus. Mm -hmm. That was six hundred dollars stimulus check, but I didn't have access to it. And you took out seven hundred and sixty dollars in cash. No. And so I'm curious of what you use that for. No, I did not take a show. No, I did not have $760 cash before we went to DC, mm -hmm. for sure. No, you did. And then you didn't use your card at all when you were in DC, but you used it on the way to DC. On what, gas? Food. Food, okay. I'm just curious of why. Do you, 
do you have like a that wasn't me I think you're confusing me because 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 the van I couldn't pay for and that's about how much the van was so you're saying like six seven hundred dollars that sounds like Edward mm. paying for the van no it was it was you where do you bank at Danny hey, Chase is that your only bank account I had a, a Bank of America bank account, but there's nothing in it, so I think it's closed. Do you have any credit cards? No. So if we got your records from Chase and it showed a $760 withdrawal, you're just not remembering it? No, I don't think I had a 1600 Yeah, I don't think that was me. 760 I really don't think I had $760 to pull out again. You really don't think, or you for sure don't? I don't have that kind of cash to be pulling out. Well, I saw your bank records and I thought the same thing. That's why I thought that was weird. $760 from an ATM before we left? Mm -hmm. No, that's not me. How many days before we left? It was on January 4th. Oh, January 4th? We were already on the road. Because mm -hmm. you left the third? I think so. Well, it's a couple of days trip, so, um, hell no, that wasn't me. You, I think you're confusing me with someone else. That you've been Why is he denying it so much? It's possible that they're, they're just making this up and they're trying to see if they can get him on anything, right? That's not me. I didn't have $760. You did. I'm just, like I said. In my chase? Like I said, I'm giving you the opportunity to be honest No, I'm, honest I'm with really, me. I'm really not completely. me. Cards on the table. Because the more that you're hiding from me, man, I'm the not, less I'm that not they, the less that you tell me. Yeah. It's just I can't help you. No, I don't have six I didn't I don't no, that was not me. I didn't have seven hundred and sixty dollars. I had twenty six dollars the day before. This is I I'm I'm this is uh, you're gonna be like, oh, this guy's full of shit. Look, I'm a person that believes in God, and I was like, it's meant for me to go. I have twenty six dollars, and and I'm still going. Like, like I I told everybody okay. I'm going to D C oh, okay, with no okay, money. Okay. I had so, no money, so like I just got there. Like, I, so where did you stay at? At a at a rented house. Oh, be more discreet. Like an Airbnb. It was an Airbnb. Yeah. Where was it? Arlington. Arlington, Virginia? Yeah. Who, who got it? Someone named Michelle. Michelle, what's her last name? Henny. Okay. So she got the Airbnb? Yeah. And how do you know Michelle? From the rallies. And what else? That's it. That's it? That's it? Trump supporter, that's it. You've only seen her at the, the rallies? Are you sure? Danny? No, I mean, I know her, like, through, through, um... Yeah? Through what? Danny? No, I haven't only seen her at the rallies. You've only seen her? No, <laughs> not only. No, I, 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 I know her. Okay, well, tell me about Danny? her. Danny? Where else have you seen her? How do you know her? What's your relationship like? She would go to the rallies, and she needed some help at her house, so I would help <clears> at her house with, like... She got into an accident, so she, she has a hard time... Um, remembering and like her hands her ex her, i don't know for somebody she got in a car accident because somebody was driving like an asshole she got injured and now she's all messed up and she can't really do that much like she has issues like with her hand grabbing stuff or her mind she had a concussion and she forgets and she can't remember mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, danny she's really like okay she needs a, she's she's she needs a lot of help she's her mind is, is go, like she'll go to the bathroom and then she'll be like why am i in here so have you have you been to her place right lately? No, not late. I mean, I've been to her house. Not not really. How many times time. did you fuck her, Danny? Last time you've been to her house? A few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. Okay. And what? Yeah. Well, we were helping her out, or what? We... I would. Yeah, I'll go over there and try to help her out. You know, it's like she needs painting, and like you know, she she went on this. She got people to donate old cans of paint for her. So I went and got her paint, and then I brought it to her house, and then. I'm over there mixing and then straining it for her and mm -hmm. getting paint on me. I'm just doing side stuff to help her. She's trying to sell her house. Okay. And so she was out she's there. Al she's alone. She lives by herself and she has nobody to help her. So I'm like... I'm feeling a big... I'm feeling a light to big woo yeah here, boys. Little things I can do, whatever I'm capable of. Okay. So she was out. How did she get in D.C.? 
I don't know. I think she flew. She flew. Okay. And was she at the Capitol? I think so. And what did she do there? Oh, she's not. She's she didn't do anything. She's not a person that. How do you know that? Did you see her there, like outside of the Airbnb? I think I seen her once. I didn't see a lot of people. I was there mostly. I didn't even see. I saw Edward that day, forty minutes that day, that entire day. I was. We were all separated. So I don't know what she was doing. You were separated from Ed. I was separated from everybody. Yeah, I was by myself most of the most of that that day. Are you lying to me again? No. Or Danny. When you guys were inside the Capitol. When you guys broke into that window. I didn't. So I came back up, and that window was broken already. I don't know what, how it was broken. I saw Gina. Danny, don't you fucking lie to me, Danny. Gina, Gina saw me. She yelled at me with the megaphone. She was like, Danny! She said, DJ, I heard my name. Like, yeah, oh my god, you mixed paint for me! <laughs> DJ, get in there. <laughs> and then uh, Edward, too. Edward's like, go in there, get in there. Man, after I tased the cop, I wasn't trying to do anything anymore. I was like, this is too much. I already did plenty. And I came back up the steps looking for Edward. I came back looking for everybody, somebody that I knew. Because I didn't know anybody. I was by myself. And that window was already broken out, and there was already people in there. So they told me, get in there, I'm okay. So you weren't busting the window? And that window was already broken, that we went in. Were you busting the window? Um, What'd you use to bust the window? I don't know, somebody was busting it, and I, I helped decided them. to help them. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, what are you doing? <laughs> you could tell by how I should have said something because now it's just gonna, I'm hindsight. But you can tell how meek he is. He's like, I didn't bust it. Thing and hold on. What did you use to bust the window? When you hold on. My window was already broken. It was already broken. Went in. Were you busting the window? No. <laughs> you what can you hear him, right? The window. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> was busting it and I like, decided to help him. It was like a metal pole. And, and I think, I think, I think that the person who, who I was helping was the one that filmed that. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And was Edward there with you? He was in there, I guess, but I didn't see him the whole time. We talked afterwards, and I never knew he was in there. I was, I even told him, like, where were you? Where, you know, he's like, I was in there. I was looking for Biden, dog. What about Mello? No, Mello didn't go in there. Mello is, um scared to get in trouble he's just like he's just one of those guys who he'll hang around not a patriot if anything happens he's he disappearing so Mello wasn't with you while you were busting the window no and and you're saying you didn't see ed i did see him in there but not to my 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 my, my memory i found out afterwards that he was in there but i don't remember him in my memory or, or remember talking to him or seeing him when i was when, when it was happening but you know the video I'm referring to? He was in there, I saw from the video. But I don't remember him in there. And you remember what you were saying in that video? A little bit. What'd you say? Uh-oh. Did they just kill somebody for doing this? Mm-hmm. And what were you trying to tell everybody? Just trying to warn everybody. So I didn't want anybody to get killed. Or if they were, they needed to know that it was a possibility. And um, it's really serious what was going on. Everyone got quiet. And then where'd you guys go? Just open that door and down the hallway. And I think we went to the Is that Mitch Jones? Is that you? Who's saying that right now? Talking about breaking the window. Is that Gina? Can you wind it?
Um, is that air right there? <clears throat> yeah. Danny, what are you doing? More people in. I thought that we were gonna get gassed, honestly. And there's a way of breathing or escaping as well. That's you were saying get in here. Yeah, so I'm gonna get in here. So you were telling more people to get in there. Like you wanted backup. I thought we were gonna occupy the building. I thought we were gonna take a couple of days or something. I honestly thought it might be like a day or two that we were gonna be in there and I thought that they were gonna gas mask. I mean, not gas masks. I thought they were going to tear gas us, so we needed either an escape route or a breathing hole. Mm -hmm. So why were you guys going to occupy the building for a couple days? What was the point? Was it to disrupt the um, the process that Congress was going through in confirming Biden? I didn't know what was going on. Wait, wait, wait. No, I was... We were, we were trying to... I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a plan. Danny. You look like a leader in there. You're ordering people, organizing. Uh oh. Furniture. It's all coming together, Danny. Windows. Letting people in. Tell people to put their goggles on. It looks like a combat situation. That you've been training for. That you brought tools for. That you caught on camera engaging in. Ooh. I'll be right back one second. We'll see how Danny manages to slide out of this one. Spoiler alert. <laughs> He's probably not going to. One second. 